this is um, the first coop idea with you know for protection of trees that I planted when this was just rushy land. This was planted in 2007 and planted it to act as a kind of heart in the land. It's a spiral of trees, birch on the outside, there's some hazel, there's oak, and in the very center there's a holly, yew, and elder. I put in another three more coops over the years and I put experimented with different mixes. Yeah, that's a recent plant, maybe three years ago, 2018. But this is what those other coops look like, you know, with all of the, the rushes, rushes inside before the canopy closed. I matched the coop to the length of wire to make it simple to put them up. So it's 50 meter circumference. And uh, I used sometimes five foot wire if I could get it, six foot in places, four foot at the beginning. But all of them worked to keep deer away. And I was told, oh deer, you need eight foot fencing. For some reason, the circles maybe confused the deer. They probably could get in, but they never, they never got in. The circle shape also, you know, deflects wind better than a square. It, it allows wind to go around and over. So, you know, you, you can make these 100 meter circumference and have open space in between. And then this, this one here was about 2014. I put in a lot of oak. There's also aspen and uh, rowan and there's some cherry and uh, birch. We're both very happy on again, very exposed site. And with exposed site, you mean for the wind, right? For the wind, the wind, yeah, the elements. Um, wind will find the path of least resistance, so even a, a hole, fence with holes in it will deflect wind. So you, you get the community of trees being able to work together and concentrate their energy on growing, getting their roots established so they can find what they need and then putting up energy into their uh, canopies, new leaves and branches, rather than struggling, putting a lot of energy into struggling against the, the wind. Um, but the trees that will become canopy will be the Scots pine and the oak. Uh, aspen will become a canopy tree, which is over here, that's flying. And uh, yeah, doing really well. The shade tolerant trees can coexist with, with the canopy, you know. Uh -huh. And um, the shade tolerant would be hazel would be one. Holly, hawthorn. So they can go in and fill up your woodland uh, floor. It's a woodland soil, how trees make soil and improve the soil and regenerate soil. The roots have cut through the hard pan and allowed for more pathways for water to get back down into the groundwater. And that's made the soil improve drainage wise and aer aerobically so that the, the rushes can't live in here and the trees will every year keep dropping branches, rest returning nutrients and minerals to the soil, some of which they've collected from the roots from way down and brought up. And I've had uh, my friends, cattle have been in and it's basically a silver pasture now. And a, a kind of cost effective way to bring small groups, small groves of trees onto farmland and have open space, have a mosaic type habitat. And it's a kind of win-win, a win for grazing and a win for the forest. You know, this idea of putting trees onto farmland, the agroforestry with native trees. Um, when you compare this now to what it was, it was a two dimensional field, rushy field. By having the groups, groves of trees on it now and the linear woodland, the area has increased because it's now, we're now operating in three dimensions. You know, this idea of apartments, where we've got biodiversity apartments, each tree, which has to make sense in terms of um, getting more from the same area of land than we are doing with two dimensional grassland. There's going to be fuel 
There is already from thinnings. There will be nuts here, there will be, there's apples, there's plums, there's blueberries. In time, some timber, and it can still be grazed. You haven't lost your grassland. The grassland area has improved. It's richer, better grass. The soil has improved, and uh, the rushes have retreated, brambles have retreated. And it's a win-win-win, a win for nature, a win for the owner, um, and a win, a win for the trees.